Joining us today for Primetime Local News is author Francesca Maria. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today, Francesca. Thank you so much for having me. Excited to be here. Really glad to be able to have you on here and help get the word out because we are speaking on your horror story collection and this is called They Hide Short Stories to Tell in the Dark and this is a very big collection that you've been working on. So let's just start it off with you explaining what exactly this collection is all about. Sure. It is my love letter to horror tropes. There are 13 tales. Each one focuses specifically on one or more monster. So there's a witch story, there's a vampire story, there's a werewolf story couple of demon possession stories in there as well. Um, it was kind of my take on these beloved horror tropes. Like, could I find something new to say about each of these well-worn tropes that we all love so much? And so it was kind of a challenge for me to put together the collection just to kind of see if there's something new that I had to say about these guys. All right. So what exactly would you say inspired you to write these 13 horror short stories? Well, I've been a writer since the age of six. Um, I grew up in a haunted house, um, like a legit haunted house with lights going on and off, TVs going on and off, phantom footsteps, the whole bit. So having fear as part of my DNA kind of was instilled in me early on. And so I've always used writing, especially for writing, as a way of kind of working out my fears. Um, and so during COVID, it was a very anxious and uncertain time. And so I went back to writing as a way of kind of working through those anxieties and those fears. So they hide is what I'm calling my COVID baby. It's what I wrote during COVID. And I'm happy that I, um, I was able to give birth to it and share it with the world now. Oh, no, that's really awesome. And would you say from readers that you've seen a strong response, a good response when it comes to reading some of these short stories? Yeah, absolutely. And I love seeing which stories gravitate to which kind of people. It's kind of like a Rorschach test. You can kind of get a sense of who the people are by which story they gravitate towards. Um, but yeah, each story is, is uniquely different. Um, they're told from different time periods, different settings. There's a Salem kind of witch murder story that takes place in the 1600s. There's a vampire story that takes place in kind of 18th century Ireland. So um, and there's a modern circus story about clowns, creepy clowns that takes place in New Jersey. Um, so it's kind of a smattering of a lot of different things. And so, yeah, everyone's been very positive. I've gotten great feedback on it. And it hit number one in Amazon's bestseller the week that it came out. And I'm so glad that you brought that up because I was just about to ask about that. How was it to see that it made it to Amazon number one bestseller? What was the feeling like? Mind blown, uh, completely mind blown. Um, the At one point, my book was like one book away from Stephen King's book. And so now I can say that they hide with Stephen King adjacent. Um, so <laughs> I, I'm love really I think I might have that like tattooed, that screenshot, um, just so I can remember that at one point in time, I was that close to a Stephen King book. <laughs> oh, that's really amazing. I'm so glad to see that you're getting that nice, strong support. And you're already seeing that, you know, with making it to the Amazon number one bestseller. So that's really great to hear. Now, is there anything more that you'd like to add on this short story collection that I may have missed out on or maybe any future work that you have coming up that you want to kind of give us a teaser on and let some of your fans and readers know about? Sure. Yeah. So I'm working on the audiobook for They Hide as we speak. So I'm going to be doing a Kickstarter for that on May 1st. So you can check that out. And I'm also the creator and comic book writer for Black Cat Chronicles. They're a true horror comic book series narrated by a mystical and mysterious black cat. So you can find those um, also on my website. Awesome. Awesome. Well, once again, thank you so much for joining us today, Francesca. It was really nice speaking with you and really glad to hear how strong that support has been and been seeing a good response. So for everybody watching this, make sure to go check out that collection. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me.